This is God's firewall today on Saturday Night Revival. Hello, I'm Andrew Lacombe and thank you for joining me today. Your answers to your prayers can happen if you let God's light be ignited in your heart, in your soul, and your countenance. Jesus said, I'm the light of this world, in me is no darkness at all. He also said, you are the salt of this earth. So if you're seasoned in the salt, you're in God's consuming fire. If you're in God's consuming fire, the word is nigh thee, like a fire shut up in your bones. And woe be unto me if I preach not this gospel. That's what Paul said. Jeremiah, in heavy assault and persecution by God's rebellious people, hammered it home, told the king the way it is. And said, if you just do what I'm telling you, you'll live. If you don't, you're going to perish. And he did perish. Got his eyes plucked out in total misery and death. So if you're God's anointed and you're God's chosen person, most people don't even know what it means to be anointed of God. Today, I'm going to help you with that. And then these revelations are going to burst out with your testimony of finding the good news. Out of all this darkness, negativity, and lies. Because the truth sets you free. He's infallible. As it's written. The way it is, the way it was, and the way it will be forever. And it's amazing once you start looking into the truth. How it correlates with you in the now. Because faith is when. It's always right now. But listen to these scriptures. For thou art a holy people. Thou, you art a holy people in the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen you to be special people above, unto himself above all the people that are on the earth. Chosen you out of the furnace of affliction. That, that's the blood of Christ's living covenant that forms a firewall or drinking the cup of his blood of the New Testament for the remission of sins. See, in my sinful state, I was highly successful. But I was so unbalanced. That's why Luke Laser, Only the New Creature, Volume 2, gets into more of that original testimony, the original path of the revelations. Once I saw Jesus manifest, I was snatched out of darkness. And I changed dramatically, profoundly, and never looked back. And that's why... When Sodom and Gomorrah was being judged for its perverseness and abominations, the angels of the Lord came and visited Lot and his wife and <clears throat> spared them. All they said is don't look back. Don't do the one thing. And she looked back and she was ground to a pillar of salt because at that moment, Jesus said, go forward. There's no going back. There's no looking back. I've prayed with people and cautioned them. Once you start vowing, once you start living into this, it'd be better for you not to have known the living Christ than renew yourself back in your sinful life and lay his blood to open shame. Don't call this what I have cleansed unholy and unclean through the washing of the water of the Word and regeneration of the Holy Spirit. A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies round about. That's why Rock Warrior Club, the rock of salvation, finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and the boldness of his might. It defeats your own sinful nature which is your adversary and enemy. The man in the mirror who keeps thinking those old thoughts and living that old way is a coward for Christ. The new man has no sin because it's Jesus himself in his light. 
because only a new creature avails much with God. And if you have a pinhead of light or a mustard seed of faith that can say to that mountain, be removed yonder, hence yonder place, and it shall be removed. Nothing's too hard. Is anything too hard for the Lord? So at his spoken word, at his living testimony of the good news out of your mouth, as a joint heir in Jesus, a peculiar treasure, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, who's called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, that's the glorified church, what he's coming back for without spot or wrinkle. And I'm going to get to a scripture on that. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. My God's a consuming fire. With his chariots like a whirlwind. It's like when Elisha saw the kingdom of heaven open up around Elijah before he was translated up. He said, my father, my father. Then the chariots of the Israel, the horsemen thereof. Same with the servant boy with Elisha whose the mantle of God's anointed fell on him from Elijah, said, open his boy's eyes, and he looked around about the man of God. And he saw the chariots of Israel in the horsemen thereof, and said, Elisha said, the man of God said, they that be for us are more than they that be against us. God before you, who can be against you? This is your firewall. For by fire and by a sword, or the sword of the word of his by his mouth shall he destroy the son of perdition and the evil one. Will the Lord plead with all flesh? And the slain in the Lord should be many. I'd rather get slain in the Holy Ghost right now and be spiritually recre recreated and be, have deliverance from these unclean spirits and demons that come through a habitual carnal life. For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about. Who's her? And will be the glory in the midst of her. Her is the new Jerusalem. Her is the glorified church, and Christ is the light thereof. Her is the bride of Christ, adorned in his glory, without blemish in his blood. That's who her is. In other words, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. But with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with the, another and the blood of Christ cleanses us from all sin. How much more should the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, the glorified church sanctified unto him a glorious church without spot or wrinkle. Purge your conscience from the dead works and serve a living God. Get out those scriptures. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Drink these teachings in. Put them in your eye gates and your ears. Faith comes by hearing. And then you recreate that word of life by speaking in your testimony. What I was and what I am now. Where you're at, friend, and where you could be if you just let my testimony in the way of the Lord and obedience sink in. Now this has been Andrew Lacombe. Firewall and Double Eagles. Ministry Broadcast Network. Let's sit down, have a cup of joe. Let's sit down, turn the jazz low. 